I want to introduce you to a build I've been working on with my father before we put it away for the holidays. It's an S2000, a vehicle I've been after for a really long time actually. Ended up getting this one in the exact spec I've been after. Grand Prix white, beautiful red interior. Very nice condition here. Take a look at this. It's beautiful. One owner still has the owner's manual. It's gonna be my daily driver. Before we put it away, the radiator support was installed, painted up. I'm gonna roll those footages for you guys. I condensed multiple days of work into one video. It's gonna be very in-depth. In the next part, we're gonna pick up the pace. Go ahead and assemble it. Still need to do alignment, paint, of course. I do have some plans for it. Uh, I wanna go ahead and wrap it. I'm not gonna say what color I'm gonna wrap it quite yet. I'm not ready for that. Uh, but once that time comes, I might take some heat for the color choice. Uh, we'll see. Also, check this out, guys. This is the 20th anniversary Honda S2000 front end. This thing looks awesome. So it has been 20 years since the S2000. Honda announced that they're releasing some new parts for it including that front bumper. They say there's gonna be audio and suspension upgrades as well. If that's the case, I'll probably order those too. It's not too clear exactly what they're releasing. We're just gonna to have to wait till the end of February and find out. But that front bumper, we're definitely gonna get that front bumper. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the footages, get you caught up on this build. You guys are gonna see how it led up to this point, minus the paint and you know minor assembly right here. Next time, we'll go ahead and pick up the pace assemble this thing so I could go ahead and get it back on the road and have myself a new daily driver. Take care. Some time ago. What's up guys? So I got on Craigslist last night and I found a radiator support for a pretty good deal actually, about 200 bucks. Um, there it is. So I talked to the guy. Now the only downside is I have to cut it myself, which is fine. I'm getting such a good deal on it, I don't mind. But he's allowed me to cut it where I need it from. So I'm gonna need it right before the strut tower and he's including all of that with the side whisker pieces as well for $200. Got all my gear right here. Without further talking, let's just go ahead and get out of here and go cut this radiator support. So we are here. Let's go ahead and get down and check out this parts car. So here it is. This is the parts car right here. We're gonna need it from here on forward. Gonna use the upper upper portion. Also, this lower portion was damaged uh, on my S2000. Took two batteries and two men's strength, but we got the front support nicely cut. Uh, it's time to pay the gentleman and get back to the shop. Fit it in the RSX, I don't know how, but it fit nicely as you can see. So I found a pair of headlight brackets for 20 bucks. I got a great deal on it. I'm going to pick those up and I'm also going to go to the paint shop, have them make me a can of Grand Prix white. So I'll catch you guys at the shop. All right, I lied. I had to make a quick stop at Jamba Juice because all that cutting got me so tired and thirsty. And of course, the car is thirsty as well. We're filling up some gas right now. We are now back at the shop. So we got the front radiator support right here that we just cut. Got the top portion, lower portion. Everything's here, which is awesome. I did get some paint, Grand Prix white. I believe the color code is five... I did pick up some paint. This is Grand Prix White NH565. It's just a flat white. Beautiful white in my opinion. I do want to point a couple of things out. First one being right here, this rip in the support. Now the good thing is it is on the support after the strut tower and it does drill off nicely here. This lower side right here also has some damages. Gonna go ahead and strip the front end as far as the radiators, the air cleaner and all that. So there it is guys, got the radiator nicely off. This reservoir, get a new tank for that one. As far as the fans go, I was very concerned about the, uh, I want to know if the inner side made it. And it looks like no cracks or anything that I see. All the fins, just go 
through real quick. Yeah, all the fins are good. No cracks on the lower side. So perfect, this radiator made it all as well. The condenser, so for the condenser, not gonna pull it off. I don't have access to the AC machine right now. So this is the support piece that we're drilling off from. We're gonna be using the upper portion and the lower portion. Now using the bigger drill because this way it's a lot easier. All right guys, so the lower portion nicely drilled off as you can see. Now uh, doing the upper portion. Almost done guys, almost done. See right here, this is the larger drill and then this is the smaller drill. Uh, holes pre-made, that way it'll be easier. Just using the magnet right now to clean up all the spare uh, shredded metal pieces. And we just had them held on with some bolts just to see how everything kind of fits together. Got that wood uh, right there uh, jacked up to hold it for support while the lower portion gets uh, cleaned up and welded on. Taking one last measurement right here before the uh, official welding starts. The vice grip right there and there just to make sure it all holds steady in place. All right guys, so got the lower portion clamped on, all cleaned up and ready for the weld. So it's time to get the lower portion welded up so then we could do the upper portion. piece all welded up on the sides and inner sides of the frame rail. Now we're gonna have to lift the car up because there's spots on the bottom side too. So that's what we're gonna do now. Once that's all welded up, we'll do the top. Then we'll go through all the spot locations with the grinder and then we'll seal it. So right now we're gonna lower the car and then do the upper half of the support. All right, guys, we got the support on the table. Let's go ahead and clean up all this area right here. Uh, anywhere you see holes, that's where it's gonna be welded back on from. So we gotta clean it up so the weld will hold nicely. All the spot weld locations are nicely flattened out. part of the support is now on the S2000 as you can see nicely clamped down with the vice grips. I'm gonna do one last measurement right here um, prior to the welding just to make sure everything's good. guys so the support is all nicely welded up now dad how was it it's good scale of one through ten was it difficult the nine eight nine or eight especially for the condenser in the making problem yeah the condenser we never did end up moving that don't have access to the machine but the radio support is all nicely welded up now as you guys could see 
We're gonna have to clean up the spots where it received the weld, just smoothing out a bit uh, all the way around on both sides, and then put seam sealer on it, which protects it from moisture and other elements that end up causing corrosion. So once we get the seam sealer on there, it'll be awesome. cleaned up with some water, air dried, and then cleaned up with a cloth. So we're gonna let it dry for some time, and then we could lay the seam sealer on it. 1,500 seconds later. All right guys, so it's all dried up now. I'm gonna use brushable seam sealer right here, and uh, seal the welds. So all the weld points have been nicely sealed. This is gonna be pretty much it for today. We got the hood right there. Pick this hood up for 75 bucks. Yes, $75. Original hood with no damages or previous body work. I did have to make a three hour drive or so round trip, but it was well worth it. Also got the fender right here. 75 bucks for that fender too. The guy pretty much told me to make an offer and I made an offer. Uh, he had it in storage for years. So putting it to use on the S2000. Also got this fender right here. This was ordered from the dealer. It was about 260 bucks or so. That's the old hood. Going to hang on to it. Going to use the white hood nozzles. And I believe the inner side, um, the cover, is in better condition than the blue one. Eventually, I'm going to have to go ahead and prepare these for paint. Can't wait to get this thing on the road. Take it out with the NSX side by side. Make some videos for you guys. Maybe give you guys a nice comparison video. And just have a great time. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. See you guys next time. And take care.